Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! Now, Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, who has come to Earth with physical powers never before dreamed of by mortal man, and who fights a constant battle for truth and justice, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for the Daily Planet newspaper. Thus far, Kent's expedition to the Caribbean Sea with Professor Thorpe, gray-haired inventor of a new deep-sea diving bell, has been disastrous. Although they found the $2 million in sunken Spanish gold Professor Thorpe was after, it was stolen from them by a half-breed desperado named Pete Escobar. As our story continues today, Escobar still has the gold and is making one final attempt to wipe out Kent and Professor Thorpe by luring them to a secret hiding place. Unfortunately, the message Escobar sent fell into the hands of young Jimmy Olsen, copy boy on the Daily Planet. And at the moment, Jimmy is on his way to the hiding place alone. In the meantime, Kent and Professor Thorpe are returning from the waterfront, where they had gone to inspect the professor's ship, the Juanita, both unaware that Jimmy is stepping into a dangerous trap. Listen. I still don't quite understand, Kent, what that boy Jimmy is doing here in Manau. Hmm? Jimmy Olsen? Yes. Oh, well, he doesn't really belong here. You see, when Perry White, the editor of my paper, couldn't reach us by radio... Well, he naturally became worried. Yes, yes, of course. So he sent Bill Wentworth, another reporter, down here by plane to check on our whereabouts. Well, Jimmy, the little devil, strode away on the plane. Right? Here he is. Oh. And, and what about Wentworth? Oh, well, I told you, Professor, but you've probably forgotten. What? Uh, he's at Dr. Corraldo's house recuperating from a, a little accident. Well, that means we have two patients at the doctor's house. Captain Maddox and your reporter friend. Yes, that's right. Well, they're both coming along nicely. Yeah, now, if we can only figure out some way of getting that Spanish gold back from Escobar, this trip may not be so unsuccessful after all. I think... Oh, say, here we... <laughs> We've walked past Dr. Corraldo, two houses back. Hmm? Oh, oh, so oh, it is. Yeah, I hope Jimmy's kept out of mischief. Ah, here we are. Kent, talking to you has given me renewed hope. I do believe we may yet recover that gold. I'm glad to hear you say that, Professor. Uh, Buenos dias, senores. Oh, hello, Juan. Uh, did the doctor return? No, senor. Uh, where, where's Jimmy? Uh, where's the little boy, Juan? Uh, El muchacho. Oh, he go out. Out? Si, senor. All alone? Si, senor. Funny. Uh, all right, Juan. Thank you. Gracias. Hmm. Ah, where do you think he went, Kent? I don't quite know, Professor. Gave him explicit orders not to leave this house, and he knows the penalty for disobeying. Well, he can't have gone far. Probably just to the corner. He'll be back soon. Of course. <laughs> you can't keep a young active boy cooped up in a room indefinitely. Oh, I know, but it's getting dark, and Manau is a strange place. I don't quite like the idea of his being out alone. Oh, come, come, Kent. Don't be too harsh with him. Well, let's pay Maddox a visit and see how he's getting along. Come on. I won't feel easy, Professor, until Jimmy comes back. And well may Clark Kent feel uneasy, for at this very moment Jimmy Olsen is climbing over the rocks behind the Manal Cemetery, searching for the cave mentioned in Pete Escobar's luring message. The sun has already dropped below the horizon, and eerie gray shadows are creeping over the graveyard. Listen. Oh, boy, I'm wondering. I wonder where that cave can be. It's pretty well hidden. Oh, even if I do find it, I don't suppose I'll be able to carry the gold back. It's too heavy. Well, at least I can tell Claude Kent and Professor Stop where it is. I don't see anything that even looks like a cave. Wait. Yes, I do. Up ahead. It's a dish. The gold must be inside. Gee, it's dark in here. We should have brought a searchlight. You won't need a searchlight. Huh? Who's there? Grab him, Carlos. Hey, let me go. Let me go. Get him back, Carlos. Let me go. I can't kill you. Hurry up, Carlos. What you wait for? Let me go. I tell you. Let go of me. Go ahead. Yeah. Nobody huh? hear you. Wait, Carlos. Oh. I open the door. Take him inside. Put him down. You can't do this to me. I'll... I know you. 
You're Pete Escobar. That's right. You're the one who stole the gold from Professor Thorpe. You know a lot of things, eh? Maybe too much. I know that you're a crook and you better let me out of here. <laughs> Maybe you like it here. Nice room at the end of cave. With oil lamp. You let me out or my friend will take care of you. <laughs> Your friend. Not very brave, you friend. Standing kid. I'm not a kid and they didn't send me. I came by myself. You came to get the gold, eh? <laughs> Look at it. The corner there. Piled up in boxes. You would like to have it, no? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, laugh. You won't laugh when Clark Kent gets after you. Clark Kent, eh? I remember Clark Kent. I do not like him. Carlos, open the door. What are you going to do? We're going to leave you here with the gold while we go look for Clark Kent. You can't do that. Adios. Oh, no, no. Quick, Alan, to the cafe. <laughs> Ben, for the love of heaven, stop pacing up and down the room. The boy will be here shortly. It's been an hour since we returned. I can't stand this any longer. I'm going to look for him. Where, where will you look? I think if I can find Pete Escobar, I'll find Jimmy. Ken, what are you saying? I may be wrong, but it's worth a try. Just stay here in case he comes back. Ken, you're being foolhardy. Don't worry about me, Professor. I'm being foolhardy for Clark Kent. But it isn't foolhardy for Superman. I'm convinced Escobar has something to do with Jimmy's disappearance. There's only one way to find out. From Escobar. He won't recognize me as Superman. My red cape and blue costume will take care of that. All right, Escobar. You asked for it. Up! Up! And away! There's the Paradise Cafe. Escobar's hangout. I'll drop down the rear of it and see whether he's in that back room. see him through the window. This black-hearted henchman Carlos is with him. And I won't bother to knock. That back door lock looks flimsy. Who's that? Good evening, Escobar. Who are you? What do you want? Never mind who I am, and you know what I want. Nobody make joke with Escobar. Get down. This is far from a joke. Where is the boy? Jimmy Olsen. Who? You know who, Escobar. The boy you tried to kill by setting fire to the hotel. Where is he? What business is that of yours? Unless I know in a hurry there's going to be trouble. Never trouble for Escobar. Don't move. You're wasting your time, Escobar. That gun in your hand doesn't frighten me. Grab him, Carlos. Look out, Carlos. <laughs> I warned him. For that, my friend, you die. Not as simple as all that, Escobar. Tell me before I lose my temper and lay you out like I did Carlos. Where is the boy? Listen. Listen. Earthquake. What's that? Earthquake. Earthquake. Hurry up. Hold on. You can't get away with a trick like that. All you're hearing is thunder. No, no. No, no. Earthquake. Earthquake. No, no. Earthquake. Escobar, you stay right here until I find out where that boy is. Look. Look. The ceiling. She comes down. Wait, Scott. You're right. Look out. Oh, the entire roof collapsed. They're pinned under the timbers. Both of them. I've got to get them out. Carlos is done for. But Escobar's still alive. Escobar. Escobar. Escobar, listen to me. Where is the boy? Tell me quickly. Behind. Graveyard. Cave. Where, Escobar? Where? Behind. Graveyard. Cave. Cave. He's gone. Cave behind the graveyard, eh? Whatever it is, I've got to find it before this earthquake makes it impossible to find anything. Up! Up! And away! I can see the whole town from up here, but no graveyard. I... Wait. Yes, there it is. Faster! Faster! That looks like a cave beyond those rocks. Down! Down! It is the entrance to a cave, but it's all blocked up. Got to work fast. Jimmy's in there. He may be buried under tons of stone. Here goes. Oh, the wake certainly made a mess of things. There. I'm through and into the tunnel. Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, I hear him. 
I'm coming, Jimmy. He's behind this heavy wooden door, locked in. Get away from the door, Jimmy. It's coming down. Superman. Quickly, Jimmy. No time to talk. You hear that rumble? It's an earthquake. Come on. The gold. Professor Dobbs gold there in the corner. I'll take it. Run down the tunnel before it collapses. Quick. I'll follow you. Okay. I got the gold. Run faster, Jimmy. The tunnel's caving in behind us. Run. Right. There's the tunnel up ahead. Keep going, Jimmy. Don't trip on any rocks. I won't. Ah, we made it, Jimmy. We made it. We're out. Look at that tunnel. Flat as a pancake. But the earthquake seems to have... Su- Jimmy. What's the matter? You're the luckiest boy in the world. What makes you say that? Me. Jimmy Olsen. Standing here talking to Superman. Gee. Do you always wear that red cape and, and the blue costume? No, Jimmy. Not always. You mean sometimes you wear ordinary clothes like other men? That's right. Then who are you? What's your real name? I can't tell you that now, Jimmy. But someday you may find out. Now I think I'd better be going. Your friend Clark Kent is looking for you and he'll be here in a few moments. Goodbye, Jimmy. Goodbye, Superman. <laughs> What does Superman mean? Does he intend to reveal his double identity to Jimmy Olsen? To let Jimmy know he is Clark Kent? Don't forget to tune in next time and follow this exciting story with Superman. And remember, tune in the next thrilling installment of the transcription feature, Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine.